everyone, this is Michael from the group G3EZ. Me and my group would like to introduce you to a new television series called A New Challenge. Now what is A New Challenge? Well, we will help you with that. Jesse will cover the overall summary of the TV show, and I will be covering the target market. Don will be covering the main characters of the show, and Myra, Jesse, Cody and myself will be covering the four episodes we currently have planned. Now let us begin with Jesse. Of how a young, great, and professional man with his hard work and dedication to his job became the youngest head analyst for the investment firm he worked for two years. Although he was so happy with his promotion, nothing in this world comes without small obstacle. With this great new promotion comes a lot more responsibility. The story will take you through the struggles he faces, going from being an assistant research analyst and being told what to do, to be the head research analyst and telling other people what to do. He seems to be lost in such a prestigious new position, but soon he learns that he must hire someone who will take over his old position and using his new power in the company, he wants to hire one of his two best friends because he believes will make his work life much better. And even though neither of them have any experience or ever wanted to do such job, he feels they would learn to love it. Thank you, Jess, for that wonderful introduction. Hello there, I'm Michael. Now you may be asking yourself right now, is this show right for me? Well, let me help you with that. But for that, let me zoom out for a minute. Perfect. So the target audience of this show is between the ages of 18 to 35. That means the show has the most value to those who are either beginning their college career or their business career. What we hope to achieve with this age group is not teach, but renew their knowledge on the concept of work ethic, which is the overall theme of this show. Although this show is designed for those working or hoping to work in the business profession, such as accounting or finance, those outside of the business profession, such as engineers and software developers, can still learn from the lessons taught in this show. Well, now that you have an idea of whether or not this show is right for you, I will give the presentation to Don. She will give you a little background on our show's characters. Don. Sessions is character outline and the conclusions. William Chemesis, a remarkably intelligent man and hard worker, has been interested in equity research since he was very young. Over many years, he worked as a research assistant that accumulates many experience for his own. He is an ideal man about his future. Therefore, he gets what he wants today. At home, he's the only son of an ordinary family. Over 30, he is not married yet and holds one of the most important portion at the firm. He likes going out with his friends and really respects his friendships. William messed up between work and play, so he is getting a problem as a child. Trey Campbell, a very trick man and crazy person at work, always does the right thing and never does anything unethical at workplace. He's in control of everything, a good leader and very professional. He was William's mom and also a teacher of his for a few years until William promotion. Trey had had William be successful. Marcus Saliva. CEO of the firm William Bosses. Characteristic Drift by the book. Observant. Patience. Honorable. Fair. Ethical. Domineering. Jason Thomas. William's best friend from college. He has the degree in finance but lack of the passion that his friend William has. Characteristic. Admirable, free thinking, justice, neutral, supportive, 
whimsical, fluent, demanding, smart. Garrett McMahon, also one of Luna's best friends from college. He likes my name but has never put in the necessary effort to make something out of his building. Characteristic, social, hard worthy, friendly, witty, deceptive, corny, irresponsible, serious, and selfish. Hello everyone, my name is Myra, and here is a short synopsis of episode 1. Hard work and dedication is often rewarded fairly. William has no idea that his life is about to change today. He thinks it's just another day at the firm, but he has a meeting with the CEO, Marcus Oliver. In the meeting with Mr. Oliver, William is promoted to head research analyst. William lets it all sink in and realizes that he has to learn how to manage these new changes along with this new responsibility. Regardless, he's excited to manage these new changes. I hope you enjoyed the synopsis of episode 1. Up next is Jessie with her synopsis of episode 2. Hello, my name is Jessie Choi and I'm part of group number 3. Here is episode 2. Even though it's only been a week since William received his promotion, he is feeling a little bit overwhelmed and does not know what to do. He is so used to doing what he is told that now it's hard for him to tell others what they need to be doing. Because the promotion he received comes with a lot more responsibilities, his boss, the CEO of the company, wants him to be a lot stricter with the other employees. This is a big issue for him because he is not used to it. He used to be laid back and relaxed, always did what he was told. Now that he is the boss and he needs to tell other people what to do, it's getting hard. But on the other hand, he's really getting used to being lazy. Thank you, Jess, for the great synopsis in episode two. Hello everyone, my name is Cody and I'm going to give you a quick overview on episode 3 which is titled Interview Day. So to start off on Interview Day, William is promoted in the company and he is ordered by his boss to try and fill his old position. What he's required to do is interview 5 candidates for the position. First off, William calls 2 of his buddies from college, Jason and Garrett, to see if they want to interview for it. Jason and Garrett both have finance degrees. Jason and Garrett end up accepting and like, would like to come out and have an interview. What William does then is find three other candidates that he thinks are qualified for the position. So on one day, all five of these candidates come on out and have interviews with William one by one. And William sits down with each candidate and gets to know them and checks out their resume and just sees who he thinks would be the best for the position. William ends up being in a dilemma where he wants to work with one of his friends because he thinks it would be a good time, but he also thinks that the non-friends that he interviewed are more qualified and they'd be better for the position. So he's stuck in this position where he doesn't know what to do and he cannot decide. And he has a couple of days to decide and that's all that's on his mind 24-7 is what should I do, I can't decide. So that's a quick overview on interview day. Now I'm going to give the floor to Michael so he can talk a little bit about episode four. Expression. Thank you, Cody. It's worth a thousand Hi, it's me, Michael, again. I will be covering the fourth episode, Decision Day. Now, William knows that the right thing to do for the firm would be to hire someone who is well qualified and will help to do their part in bringing success to the firm, even though he knows what is right and what is wrong. William has trouble making the choice. William decided to go to lunch with Garrett and discuss the possible job opportunity. Garrett admits that he has never been passionate about anything in life and that he is f having financial trouble and really needs the job. He implies to William that if he doesn't get the job, that would affect their friendship. William really wants to help out Jason and Garrett, and he is faced with one of the first of many ethical challenges he will face as head research analyst. William is getting job between friend and work right now. What would he do to solve the problem? 
Will he hire a rare to work? Or will he find someone else to help him? To know what he would do that continue to watch future episodes. Hello again. I hope you enjoyed this preview of our new show, A New Challenge. Now that you know, now that we have given you an idea of what our show is about, let me tell you about our progress. We have scripted all four of those episodes that you have seen earlier, and the voice actors for the characters present in those episodes have already been assigned to each of the group members, including myself. Now what we need to do is complete five more episodes. The first of those five will conclude the arc story arc that is currently in place. The next four episodes will be a new about a new challenge that William will face in his work. Thank you.